Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Seventeen's performance on the Rolling Stone, where they perform Pinwheel, Trauma, and Lily, Lily Yabai. So it says here that it was filmed in, in Seoul, South Korea, and I'm guessing we're gonna get like an acoustic type of session from the whole setup, um, which would be cool, cause you know, as much as I do really like dancing and and performing while singing, dancing, rapping, and all that. I do love acoustic and kind of just like vocals. And if this is not acoustic, then just vocals too. It's just, I love that as well. Uh, if you guys take a look at my Spotify playlist on my card, link down below, you guys will see there's a lot of vocally centric songs and arrangements. So yeah, I, I just enjoy that as well. Um, I just woke up, it's 8.44 a.m. in the morning. This is a great way to start my day. Let's get to it. Hey, we're the vocal unit from the band 17. Hey. I'm Joshua. I'm DK. I'm Rosie. I'm Jonghan. Mm. I'm Seungwan. And today we'll be performing a song called Pinwheel. Pinwheel. Uh, this is a song that I wrote. I was inspired by a dream I had one night. Yeah. The lyrics are about longing for someone you can't meet anymore. We hope <laughs> you receive comfort from it. Pinwheel was part of our Before All One project in 2017. Please enjoy this 2021 version. Ooh. Music. Q. I thought Joshua would have a higher Australian accent. He's Australian, right? He's gonna kill me. I don't know if it's because it's 8.46 a.m. in the morning now or because the message of the song or they're just like so beautiful. <laughs> I'm like Part I know. <laughs> Yes, the harmonization. 
I love it when they do the live versions and then there's a different way that they do it like with Songkwan when it was like a little bit fuller Oh my god Hey, we are the Hip Hop Unit from Seventeen I'm S. Coops I'm Wono And I'm Mingyu Hey And I'm Vernon <laughs> And today, we will be performing Trauma Trauma, yes It's been a long time since we got together to perform this the four of us wrote the lyrics and it's based on our personal struggles and fears. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, they all look really good. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loves how Minky holds the mic. I'm <laughs> dreaming it to be real life. I understand what he was saying, but I felt it. <laughs> The message of the song is so like deep, but the vibe is like, hey. <laughs> Also loving the set design. Oh wait, before okay. Before we get I to this, I just want to re-emphasize the fact that I love that they keep singing old songs or not old old, you know, like former songs um on US uh, in the US market, in the like US TV shows or if like US platforms like the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stone, <laughs> not Rolling Stones. Uh cuz yeah, like what I said in the hit reaction, right? It's just there are so many hits back in the day, um, back in the, well, I feel like it's, I'm talking like it's been years. It kind of, it's 2000, 2017, it has been years. Um, it's been years since they performed these and for them to be forgotten will be a crime, right? We need to be, we need to bring these gems into the US market and US audience so that 
Because, like, some people may be curious about, like, why K-pop is really, you know, popping off right now. And when they tune in to see these U.S. performances, they need to be wowed, right? Because of the prejudice. So it's like me as a fan, as a K-pop fan, I'm like, I want you to see their best. And when Seventeen is doing these runs with, like, their hits and hits and they're, like, you know, their better projects. I'm not saying that, you know, like, their most recent ones aren't, um, but we can all agree that there are a lot of, like, Seventeen has a lot of great songs. It would be a shame to, like, not perform those on the US TV shows or US platforms. Um, and they will always have these opportunities to, to um, sing their current songs, too. Like, it's just... It's nice distribution, right? Okay. Lili Yabai, I thought they were going to like dance because I was like, ooh, maybe that's why they had like different staging and then when they panted it, they, they, they will perform it live, but it doesn't seem like they're gonna do the actual dance. Hi everyone, we are the performance unit from the group 17. I'm Hoshi. I'm Jun. I'm Dino. I'm G8. We will <laughs> be eight. I keep forgetting that's his, it's his about stage waiting name. waiting for someone you love. We hope you enjoy. We are revealing this version for the first time. Here we go. <gasps> oh shit. This, this is a new arrangement. What the
my god. Thank you, Rolling Stone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Cute. So, okay, with that, June's incredible range. Hello. I'm discovering more. The more the reason why I like these, you know, vocal performances, live vocal performances, is because we get to really see how they sing, sing, because they don't perform this these songs a lot, right? And um, when they do, you know, like they are dancing, so it's, it's slightly different. Here they can just focus on the vocals. So with June, that was very surprising to me because he, because I have not seen this song performed live. It was just a performance video and then I have it uh, on my Spotify playlist. But like seeing the line distribution with June, he started off very high. That's a very high falsetto. And then he, I feel like he was doing a lot of the ba the lower sounds, kind of like it's like the bass sounds. I don't know if it's it would be qualified as bass or just low tenor because bass is like really low, right? Um, but there are some great lower tones. For him to go like that high to the lower bass, um, I think he was the one, correct me if I'm wrong, I, what I appreciated about that the most is like the harmonies. And I always say this, like K-pop, when you're in groups and you have that many talented people, it is really a shame when they don't do a lot of harmonies. A lot of the arrangement is probably distributed by the producers or by the company, right? So when they get to do harmonization like this, and I guess like with um, dance music, you don't really do a lot of harmonizing um, because that's just not a usual thing, I feel like. I think it's just a shame sometimes that not a lot more, a lot of groups are or can be doing harmonized singing in their songs. And like, do you, do you see why I appreciate it so much? I have a huge appreciation for harmoni harmonizing because that is like, that's one of my training. I grew up in choir. I was in a vocal jazz group. A lot of it was like harmonizing. And yeah, this was so cute. This was really nice and, and just a vocal show off <laughs> for all of them, even the rap parts. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just nice that they're able to show these performances in the US platform and they're not afraid to do it, right? So yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.